The latest tariff revision was implemented with the approval of the three members of the Public Utilities Commission of Sri Lanka and the chairman of the PUCSL, Janaka Ratnayak, had opposed this move. Questions were raised if action will be taken with regard to the PUCSL chairman. As the subject minister, there is a procedure that I need to follow. It is currently underway. There is a legal process to remove him from the post starting with the presentation of a charge sheet. Our objective was for an uninterrupted power supply. We were focused on addressing any shortcomings in this process. The process will be followed accordingly. The chairman of the Public Utilities Commission of Sri Lanka spoke to reporters from overseas. What happened yesterday was something that should never have happened. When the chairman and the director general are not in the country, they summoned the acting director general and the commission secretary to the president's office and prepared some documents there. It is not wise to impose on an independent commission. If the law of the country is not respected, where will this country lead to? The members had convened without my knowledge and had illegally amended the tariff without calling for the stakeholders' consultations as well. I, Janakarat Nayaka, as the chairman, will personally take all legal action and seek relief over this matter. <laughs> The Kalpiti police sealed the office of the chairman of the Public Utilities Commission as per an order issued by the Fort Magistrates Court. This was confirmed by the police spokesperson, SSP Nihal Thaldua. He said that the court order was obtained after reporting facts to the court with regard to information that claimed that events that caused inconveniences to the government were taking place within the office. The police spokesperson said that the chairman of the Public Utilities Commission of Sri Lanka, Janaka Ratnayaka, is currently overseas and the office will be reopened in his presence when he returns to the island. During the discussion at the president's office, a comment had been made to seal my office. Today, a court order was obtained for that. I am not against it. I am a public servant and a chairman of an independent commission. Everything in my office belongs to the government. However, the chair and the table belongs to me. I will never use government chairs and tables. It is a good thing. They have prevented a third party from entering the office and framing me. I am thankful to the OIC of the police and the political authority for that.